Destiny is not having basic needs is not traumatizing to you? A cleansing of a whole entire population is not traumatizing to you? need to do these shelves and I'm probably gonna throw away a lot of these condiments because I don't use a lot of these well I use a lot of these but some of them I feel like are bad so I'm gonna throw some of these out but I need to close the refrigerator for a second because it's been open for a while this is good though it's just bad now but this is good gross gross disgusting I don't remember about this I think I got this from TJ Maxx but I know it's bad oh well I tore it up I guess it was good. Great for lettuce wrap, tacos, a salmon bowl. I think this is okay. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. Y'all know I use this. This wasn't bad. I think I got this from Whole Foods. Um, This one was nasty. This is the honey one, but the regular ginger one, good. Yum. This is the mayo I use. These are probably bad.
The food is done. I'm making my plates. <sighs> First, let me get this cornbread cut out. We got some cornbread, honey butter cornbread. Mmm, mmm. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, oh, mmm. That's painful. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Now. Like, I don't know what you know, but this is what I know, you know? Let's dig in. I, I should dig in. I wanted to take a pic, but I'm, I'm digging in. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, man. Woo, too good. The cornbread. I just know I need two. That's me. I need two pieces. Oh man. Wow. I am proud of myself. And then I got a little honey butter. I melted some unsalted butter and put some agave in here. Get that poured on top of that. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Oh. Oh. So what I wasn't able to capture on camera because my phone, my camera died, was I chopped up that bacon and I also put it in the black eyed peas. I don't know if I captured me putting in the sausage. I cooked some sausage. Actually, I cut up some sausage and put it right into the slow cooker. But for the collard greens, I cooked up some turkey smoked sausage with some onions and garlic and then put the collards in there. Too good. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Wow. And a happy new year. <laughs> if you're far away, I want you near my side. First meal of today. First meal of the year, bitch. 
Let me give you an aerial view. Yes, girl. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mama did that. No, no, mama did that. Let me back you up a little bit. We got black eyed peas with smoked sausage, smoked turkey sausage, and some beef bacon. We got some greens, collard greens. Also got some smoked sausage in there because mama couldn't find no turkey neck. We got some coconut rice, and we got some honey butter cornbread. I'm gonna take this cilantro and put it on top of these baked beans. I mean, these uh, black eyed peas. We gonna get us a nice first bite. Is this last night's pork? Okay, let's get a nice big bite. Let me make sure my rice is warm. I want everything in this bite. Rice, black eyed peas, collard greens, cornbread. Okay, hello. So, it's January 2nd. Yesterday was a really chill day. Like, I did not do much yesterday. I know, and the thing is, is that there's so much, I don't know if that made it worse or better. It's giving worse. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Maybe I should just spin you around and be towards the light. We'll just do it to him like this. Good morning. Okay, so it's January 2nd, and um, yesterday I did not do a lot. I did do something. Um, I went to the gym in the morning as per usual. Or maybe I haven't talked to y'all and told y'all that a bitch been in the gym consistently. Like, I'm not playing ass to sit on a show, baby. Um, that's my own personal goal is just to make the gym a part of my lifestyle in the same way that I go to grab water to drink or I eat healthy. I would also like to take an hour, 30 minutes to an hour to go to the gym and get in some. So been doing that. Today, I did not get up and do that because my thing is that as soon as I get up, the first thing I do is put on workout clothes. I go to the gym, come back, eat, shower, get my day started. But what I'm realizing is, is that the gym kind of be wearing me out on the lowest of keys. And I'm not trying to be taking shots of that damn whatever that powder is that got y'all buzzed up and y'all got energy and shit. I don't want to start taking that so I'm just gonna push my gym time back a little later and we'll see how it works like we'll see how I do with that like we'll see if it affects me going to the gym at all because one thing about me me pushing it back later could mean it could be pushed back to never so I'm just like let's just see what happens but today I think I want to go to the gym like around six so we'll see We'll, we'll see, like a gym before dinner time type shit. We'll see. Also what I did yesterday, I journaled yesterday, prayed, started Black Cake, great show. Although there is one person's acting that I don't like. The daughter, I don't like the daughter's acting. But whatever. But other than that, it is a great show. I'm really enjoying it. No spoilers because when this comes out, I don't know if I'll be finished with it. So don't say nothing about nothing, please. Okay, so we're in my second bedroom and today I wanted to put together the lights, the box lights that I have because I would like to record a makeup video. You know, I feel like for anyone who also makes videos, when you are in the mood to do something, that's the best time to fucking do it because a lot of times you're not in the mood to do shit. So it's like the fact that I'm in the mood is a great time for me to do this shit. So. I just got the urge that I need to boo-boo, so I'm gonna go do that. Hold on one second. And we're back. Back in the better. <laughs> okay, so yes, it's day two of 2024, and I have to say I've already realized one major way that I would like to walk into this year. So I've already given myself a challenge for the year, and this is a challenge for me, a big one. But in 2024, 
I would like to be okay with being misunderstood. This is a tough one for me because I take it personal when somebody does not understand me, doesn't understand where I'm coming from, isn't isn't um, hearing me, has a different interpretation of something I said or how I am, whatever, like it will bother me. And not any old body, but you know. Oh, so these didn't come with drawbots? Okay. These are so tiny though. Oh, okay. But yeah, like I take it personal when somebody doesn't understand me or if someone has a narrative that isn't actually, in my opinion, accurate. You feel me? How does this scar? I think I just have to, that won't work. And that won't work. Yeah, this goes with a very specific tripod. And it's not this. I think does that come off? This does not go with this. I would have to buy a new tripod. Cool. So these, also the cords to plug these into the wall. Missing. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, yeah. Okay, so this in fact does go with this. I guess I won't be making that video today because none of what I have is what I need or none of what I had is what I thought I had. Here's one of these that just go with the other one's missing. See what it looks like when it's turned on. Cool. Stop it. Ooh, that brings a lot of light. Ooh, yes, girl. So we got the yellow and we got the blue or white or whatever. The cool and the not. The cool and the warm. Cool light, warm light. So I'm a warm like gal. Let's see what that looks like. Looking crazy. Let's see what this looks like. So this one has all these different little plates. So you can change it from cool, warm. Um, let's see what you talk about. How does it turn on? Oh, this. So this is definitely not as good as a light. Let's see if we switch out the cartridges. Put the warm light on. That's just straight up yellow. I think we're done here. I really like the box light. That's actually what I asked if I could have because I knew what I wanted to do with these box lights. I really knew I could put these to use, so. I'm gonna have to ask the other cord is that's what's missing. But yeah, um, anyway, already it's already like it's only day two of the year, and already I'm realizing that there's some discomfort for me when I feel like I've been misunderstood, and I want to get over that. I want to release that. I want you know to get to a place where if somebody misunderstands me, they just misunderstand me. You know what I mean? And I, I wanna be okay with knowing that I showed up as my honest self. I did my best, you know what I'm saying, to make sure I was, I walked away proud of how I carried myself. Just stand on that, get comfort from that, you know? I think for me, um, I'm just noticing that, I'm just noticing what's really important to me in life and it's really just about being honest and not when it's convenient or... So yeah, um, oh cool, the moon. I love seeing the moon during the daytime. It just reminds me that we're a planet, like that all that stuff out there exists. But yeah, like, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, just being honest, not only when it's convenient or when my point gets proven, but just being honest about everything, whatever. I think I'm in the mood because I'm a little annoyed. That's something that I also wanna work on, like, releasing things like I don't want to create a narrative in my mind I am so imaginative I will create a whole conversation that never even happened and it will it does aggravate me and it also creates like a tension that doesn't need to be there 
And so it's like, instead of doing all of that, how about I just completely remove it from my thoughts and I'll address it when it addresses me or I'll address it directly as opposed to me like addressing it in my mind, like either talk to the person or let it go. So yesterday I had to pull out my um, washing machine. I had to pull out my wash my face because I'm getting a rug to layer with this one. Looking for a nice chocolate rug to put up under my lilac rug that I have because this warm, this warm, this room needs a warm, like a big warm something. The lilac rug is a little too cool for this room and so I feel like the chocolate rug will really balance it out. So I was looking at some rugs yesterday and I was looking at sizes and I just wanted to remind myself what this size was because it says eight by 10, but something told me like, measure this out. Bitch, this ain't no damn eight by 10. This is a motherfucking 7.7 .7 by damn nine point something. It is short. It is not the length it's supposed to be. So I called Urban Outfitters yesterday and he was like, okay, you can send that one back and send, and we'll send you another one. But I'm just like, one, what are the chances that the one you send me is gonna be the correct size? And two, the idea of like having to send this back, please, next. So um, I thought I was gonna get a situation where they were like, okay, we'll just send you another one because they be doing that at Wayfair. They don't do that at Urban. He was like, no, we'll need that back. I said, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just, this actually works out for me because this is a really big rug to me and the bigger the rug, the more expensive it gets. So I was looking at nine by 12s, but really I don't need a nine by 12. I could just purchase an eight by 10 and it will sit out. I just want a little bit of it to sit out. So I'm looking at different shapes. There's some cylinder rugs that I really like, even some like circle rugs where it'll just poke out from one side that I'm considering, or like it'll poke out from both ends. And then obviously there's like the square ones, which would give me just like a nice border around this rug. So yeah, I'm just trying to decide what look I'm going for. But yeah, I do think I'm gonna go with chocolate. It'll also complement all of the browns in this room. I have a lot of brown in the room, my brown leather chairs. I'm moving this tan, what's my face, um, into the filming room because it's getting on my nerves. But yeah, like there's lots of browns in this in this room. So I think a chocolate rug will really just bring everything together. I'm also looking for pillows for my couch, some new pillows. So. That'll be next. They'll probably end up being a nice brown color as well. But yeah. I did want to film today. I am in the mood to like get cute. Maybe I can get cute and like work outside the house. I could do that. Go to a little coffee shop, get some work in. Sounds like a plan to me. It does sound like a plan. No, it sounds like a plan. I could, I could totally do that. Oh, this is another thing that I did yesterday. I sat in here and colored. And back to watching Black Cake. This motherfucker's good. It's just one of those shows that just keeps you hooked. I'm sorry, <laughs> why are you calling me? I wanted to tell you I thought you handled yourself well at the party. And I was wondering if I could take you out to dinner. Now that it's the truth, people have short memories. Uh, girls, good girls, girls. I actually just saw something that said the internet is putting out another album. Yeah! Now that's a 2024 treat I can get hip to. <laughs> um, the internet is one of my favorite groups. I'm actually gonna listen to their album on my walk. Yeah, so I'm going on a walk and it's gonna be a power walk. So I may or may not need to do the gym today. We're gonna see, cause I'm gonna walk a few miles. So I'll see, a little bit. Worried that I might be cold. I'm wearing a, it's a heat tech shirt. So like, it's meant to you know, protect you in the cold or whatever. But still might be a bit cold out there. Yeah, like, it's definitely a little chill chill for sure. So yeah, anyway. First walk of the year. I am going. Yeah, girl. See you when I get back. Oh, hello, hello. Mama is back. That was a very nice long walk. 
it wasn't until I was like in the thick of it that I was like, what time is it? Cause I just felt like the sun was going down. 3.30, that's what time it is, 3.30. Right now it's five o'clock, but in the middle of my walk, I look and it's 3.37 and I'm just like, wow, it feels like six. Ugh, actually, I'm a, I should stretch a little bit. I've been doing such a good job stretching after I work out that I have not been super sore. I haven't been sore for real. First like two, three days working out, like literally the first time I decided to start working out again, I was sore, but after that, I wasn't. Um, I'm just getting back. I did stop at the grocery store. I got these sirloin steak tips. My new ritual is going to be to eat everything in my fridge and then go grocery shopping. Because I hate coming back here and seeing that I bought something I already have. That didn't happen, but I'm just saying like, I don't wanna be over shopping and this shit go bad. Cause like I bought some chicken last week and forgot that I was gonna be making the food that I have and it had sausage in it. I just didn't want chicken and sausage. I never cooked the chicken, the chicken went bad. It was just wasteful. So pop, I got these sirloin steak tips, which I think will be nice with like some rice and a fresh salad or even like putting that steak on top of a fresh salad yum um i re-upped on some grapes i got my olives well i was gonna have that's it for in the fridge oh also i don't know if i showed this but i did get some green beans and kale last week so this is what i'll be eating this week with the stuff that i got today i got some Orzo rice, but it's not rice. It's actually, it's considered a pasta, but it's, I just call this rice. But it's this, that thicker rice. Technically it's not rice though, it's a Italian pasta, according to the packaging. And for snack, I really enjoy these PB&J Wishmer faces, so I repurchased those. And then I'm trying these almond butter cocoa bars just to like always be eating. Like the goal for me is to stay eating to make up for what I'm doing in the gym and to really gain and build and mold and you know. Yes. So now I'm about to make me a little plate cause mama is hungry. All I've had today is really I ain't had nothing. I had a little guava and cheese pastry and kombucha. Day two of this food. Technically day three, cause I made this on New Year's Eve. But uh, I'm gonna give this one more day for me to complete it. And if I don't complete it, it's got to go. And not cause I think it's bad, but just cause I don't wanna keep eating it. Like I'm over this, this taste, this flavor. But I'm gonna give it till tomorrow. Why it's so good, but this is a good batch of cornbread. And I'm still using my honey butter. I put it in this little, what's my face? Oh, so I was looking up, cause I was just like, how am I gonna heat up this food when I wanna heat it up? Am I putting it all back on the stove? Am I, am I putting the black eyed peas back in the slow cooker? Like, what am I doing, right? So I looked up, like, is it bad? Is it bad to microwave your food? Like, let's just get down to the root of it. Like, is it bad? And according to Harvard Health, it is not bad to microwave your food. It actually, is best in terms of the nutrients in your food, it's better because the longer you have food in the heat, the more nutrients it loses. So because the microwave heats it up quickly, it's better. That's what Harvard Health said, and they, they got Harvard. So, you believe what you wanna believe, girl? And I'm gonna believe what I wanna believe. Now, as far as cancer goes, this was a study that was focused on the nutrition properties of the food. Not so much cancer, but it did mention that like, that's one of the reasons why people don't like microwaving. And I think just like anything else that has radiation, overusing it or standing directly in front of it or using it improperly, I think is what would be the issue. Not just using it in general. I didn't even, I don't think we talked about this new method I'm trying with my herbs and I'm putting them just in the side of the thing like this. Don't bring you closer. Come closer, girl. But yeah, I'm trying something new and I put the herbs on the side of the fridge like this. Now, they are wilted. The cilantro is, not the, not the uh, parsley. The parsley looks great, but my cilantro is wilted and looking a mess. It should maybe go in there. 
we'll see. Just wanted to try outside the bag and see like if it lasted longer. You know, that's also something I guess I should actually look up and see. I did do just the littlest bit of work today. Not being on the internet and like mindlessly scrolling has really highlighted what I do with my day because I realized that I spend a lot of time on my phone and when I don't have my phone as an option, I don't know what to do. The cilantro looks not great because it's well tipped, but I'm gonna show you my plate because my plate is good. I'm gonna just mix this cilantro in there. Ooh, wee. Mm -hmm. Yo. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, you feel me? Oh, I might have been covering up the microphone, but you see what time it is, and I definitely know you know what time it ain't. Yeah, let me go ahead and eat some. Too good, too good. So I think this has a name like Hoppin' Scotch or Hill Hoppin' or something. Now, I'm from the South, but I'm not country, you feel me? So, this, I ain't... Um, oh, I'm supposed to stretch a little bit. Let me stretch for two seconds. <sighs> January 3rd, now 46 p.m. I spent the first half of the day in bed, womanly troubles. Then, binged black cake. I'm all up to date. Now I feel like I need to watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City because apparently it done got crazy. That's the one that I don't watch. I don't watch that one. I don't watch New Jersey anymore. I used to watch it back in the day like with the original cast. I don't watch Beverly Hills, but I just started Beverly Hills. I'm on the first season. And I don't watch Miami. I don't watch Dubai. I did. I tried to watch Dubai. I couldn't get into it really. I felt like these were women that have watched too much of Real Housewives but they were trying to be Real Housewives. And I didn't feel like I really got to know any of them for real. It, it all felt very like, it's showtime. Like it didn't feel like real. That's it, right? Those are all of the ones. Obviously I watched Potomac and Atlanta. Damn, I wonder when a new episode of Potomac comes on. Let me see. Cause it's been a few weeks because it was Christmas last weekend, then New Year's this weekend. Let me see if one ever came on. I don't think so. Yeah, spent the first half of the day in bed. Binged black cake. So I don't know if I said it on here, but I committed to not being on Instagram for the first week of the new year. But I'm still on Twitter and TikTok. And what I'm realizing is, bitch, you should have just said no to social media altogether. Because, yeah, even though I consume more Instagram content, if I'm being honest, like that's the one that I go to the most, I'm still spending a lot of time on my phone. And I don't want to be. So, yeah, that's something I've got to work on. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, nope. Still no new episode. Yeah, I'm still on my phone a lot, more than I'd like to be. But I'm gonna give myself a break today. Today was a little bit of a rough day for me physically. I did go to the gym. I still went to the gym. Felt like I was gonna pass the fuck out, but I did make it to the gym. I'm proud of that. I am proud of that. What can you do? Every girl deserves a day. Every girl deserves a day. Um, This is third day hair, which to me is arguably well, not arguably, it is my best hair day, in my opinion, of my wash day. And my hair is stretched out because, like, it's it looks long, but it's because I've been pineappling my hair at night lately, and so my hair is definitely more stretched than it normally would be. Yeah, I've applied no additional product. This is just it from the wash and go. But tomorrow is when I will need to apply product. Like, I'll be able to tell. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow apply product and then I'll wash my hair on Friday. I'm thinking of doing a roller set on my hair the next time I wash it. Just cause I want that look. Like I want that look. And I just feel like with my natural hair, I feel like I have more shedding when my hair is natural, personally. See, this is me about to fill in the void with about, I'm about to get on TikTok. And I'm just like, what is that? And it's because I'm bored. So now the question is, what can I do instead of that? And when I think of what I can do instead of it, nothing is as enjoyable as just getting on my phone. I could look up the rugs. I could look up the rugs and make a decision on the rug. 
on the chocolate rug. One thing I wanna learn this winter is how the hell to tie my scarf cute. I saved a TikTok of this girl teaching us, but but nothing, like I should go and open that motherfucker up instead of being over here playing around right now. I'm good for it. It's the same with like bookmarks on Twitter. Like I will bookmark the shit out of shit and never go back and look at it again. Like, is that cute? No, but you gotta think about the whole look once I have my everything on. And this isn't a fashion show. This is for warm. <laughs> Notice I only say it's not a fashion show when I'm not looking cute. Like that's how I save myself. It's not a fashion show. Anyway, I need some lip gloss because it'll just make me feel better right now. I'm feeling a little like down and out about myself um, because just, you know, the usual overthinking, thinking about things that are not actually happening, like prepping my body for the disruption that hasn't even occurred. And it's just like, Kennedy, stop, okay? And I even like, before I started doing that, I was talking to myself in the mirror like, hey girl, you know, have you even talked to yourself for real? Like, I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking to y'all, a lot of talking to TikTok, bitch. I've been on TikTok. Like they, like they really paying me for real. Like that's my job, like that's my nine to five. That's how I've been on TikTok. Like I get paid to scroll. And it's so like, Come on now, because I literally told myself I did not want to be mindlessly scrolling on the internet. That was the whole reason why I decided not to be on Instagram right now. But it's like, you just turned around and did it on goddamn, um, on goddamn TikTok. There's no difference. So today I'm challenging myself not to get on TikTok at all because you don't wanna know how late I was up last night scrolling on TikTok. You don't wanna know. Wait, you do wanna know? Four in the morning. Ooh. I can't explain it. I don't know what that's about. I told myself I was giving myself a night. That's what I kept saying, like, you're giving yourself your night. You're giving yourself a night. But it's just like, bro, what the hell? You know, what the hell? I really gotta address the fact that I think sometimes these apps give me a sense of comfort, you know? Seeing people who I know or seeing people who I recognize and who I like feels comforting. So I lean on it, but I really gotta, I gotta lean on myself too. Like there just has to be some balance and I don't feel like there's enough balance, which is the issue for me. I don't have an issue with being online. I have an issue with avoiding being with myself and I think there's a little bit of avoidance there and it's time to nip it in the bud. Is it nip it in the bud or nip it in the butt? I always say nip it in the bud. Like the bud of a cigarette, like nip it in the bud. Like so then it's no longer lit. That's what I thought it was. Anyway, so I'm going on a walk today instead of going to the gym. Maybe I'll go to the gym later if I feel like it, but I really just wanted to get outside because of how much I was on my phone yesterday. I just, I need some fresh air, I need some nature. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I normally, when I do this, I'll stop in a grocery store and I'm gonna stop myself from doing that. Like you don't have to spend money. You can just go enjoy the walk. So I'm not gonna do that. For me, I'll be like, well, you might as well take advantage. You already out here, you over by this way. Just, but no, just let it be what it is for today. A little mascara and lip gloss always makes me feel better. It just reminds me I'm a girl. I'm trying to decide if I want to take a journal on the walk, but I don't think I want to be carrying anything. I want to be hands-free. My journal's not small enough to put in my little um, pouch. I just keep going back to the thought of just like, you know, the new year does, for me, it's a little anxious. It's an anxious feeling because there's this like pressure to like do it right, to bring in the new year right. And if you bring it in wrong, it's like you feel doomed. I'll speak for myself. I be feeling doomed. Like, am I fucking up my whole year by like not doing the thing I said I was going to do or not doing it how I said I was going to do it? Like, how will this affect me? What does this mean about me? And I'll really get in my head about it. But the reality of it is, is that this is 
this is going to be the year. There's gonna be ebbs and flows. There's gonna be moments where I have to check in with myself and be like, hey, that's not what you said you was gonna do. What did you say you was gonna do? And like, and readjust and like reconfigure and get back right. Like there's gonna be so many moments like that. This is giving neck brace now. Hold on. Wait, let me put on my whole look while you over there looking crazy. So number one, cause I'm a brisk walker, so. Putting on my gloves. These gloves are touch gloves. And I had some leather ones that were beautiful and I left them in a cab. Such a New York story, I love that story. But it's also just like, dang bitch, what the fuck? Okay, and this, t I have on my watch my face and I got on this um, shirt because it's heat tech, so it should help to keep me warm. Like, it's cute. Did I do much? No. Is it getting pad? Can you see pad? Can you see pad? Like, I don't want my butt getting with that at all. I kind of wish I had on a big t-shirt. I don't want nobody looking at my butt. Not today at least. These socks don't go, but yeah. Okay. I will see you girls when I get back. Now I'm over here trying to use the gloves and they don't even work. I didn't realize this had a time limit on it or like a daggone. These go bad. These are the type of gloves that do that now. Excuse me. That is really rude and stupid. Don't tell. <sighs> All right, bye. <laughs> My four-year-old son was more mature. Hey, hey. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I would never say something you do. Yeah, just put me So I said, you know, I'm going to Did he smell like my clothes? I got it. Okay, a little quick lunch. Doesn't look that great, but it is about to taste great. Some lemon butter green beans, the Japanese sweet potatoes, the steak tips, and this is my last piece of cornbread, which I actually think I put in the microwave for too long. It's hard as a rock. Okay, it's old. Good morning, good morning for a bye. I'm gonna really test today and see how long it takes before this camera uh, battery dies because um, also these batteries are not inexpensive. Like they cost them, if I remember correctly. I think it was like almost $200. I might be dragging it, but I don't remember. But I know it wasn't cheap. Anyway, what time is it? Let's see how long it lasts. It's 10.50. I slept in today. Like, I, I think it's because last night I was sleepy and I, it didn't, or yesterday I was sleepy because I didn't go to sleep until 4 a.m. And it just dragged on until today. I'm gonna clean this drawer out one day. This drawer is so discombobulated. Anywho, today I'm cleaning these motherfucking aligners because they are, they're not even off-white, they're off-yellow, okay? And I hate them. Well, I hate them being this color. I love them though. Let me tell you though the story about my retainers right now. Cause I got a little situation going on. These are not my retainers. These are trays from my Invisalign process. My retainers fit too loose. Like I wore my retainers for a week and my teeth were shifting. Uh-uh, that's not about to happen. So I had to put my last tray back in and I've been wearing these for a month. 
and anybody who's on Invisalign knows that that's wild. Like, you're supposed to wear this for a week, two weeks tops. Not no damn months. I've been wearing these for a month. So, they're gross and disgusting, and I can't put them in my mouth. Like, they smell, and they're a different color than what they're supposed to be. So, I've been looking up ways to clean them and try to, like, get the stains off. And I'm just gonna try good old Dawn. Like that was one of the things that was on the list of like ways to clean them. As well as um, some people were saying bacon, bacon soda, but I also read that bacon soda scratches them up and I don't wanna risk messing them up. All right, so get these in here. I'm gonna cover them up with water. Okay, great. A little more, so they're fully covered. They're in there. I'm gonna shake these holes up and let them sit. Oh, oops. Oh, wow. So yeah, I slept in and I did not go to the gym. Um, I am gonna go to the gym though. I just haven't been yet. Oh, also, I feel like, well, sometimes when I turn on this camera, I feel like I haven't spoken to y'all in a minute, but it's like, bitch, you have. What else is going on? Oh, my the vibe is dead. I get to them. Let's move from over here. Right. Let's sit right here and chit chat for a second. Ah! Oui. <laughs> I want to put my feet up. Hold on. Let's get comfortable. You know you're better Ah. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Hey. All right. Wait. Ah. Whoa, good job. So, um, yesterday was the first day. I didn't do no social media. I did not open up one social media app until after nine o'clock. Like I, I was on social media maybe a total of like 15 minutes and it was just for me to tweet that I hadn't done any social media and that I was feeling great. I might have gotten on TikTok for like a hot second just to see if I had any messages or anything, but I didn't scroll on TikTok. When I tell you I felt great yesterday, my mind and my emotional, like my, my nervous system felt at ease. I don't know. I do know. I was gonna say, I don't know what that's about. I absolutely do know. Like, the stuff you can come across on the internet is so up and down. Like, it's just not worth the risk. For real, for real. It really isn't. Like, you know, you may think you're getting on TikTok for laughs, but if you're like me and you're on Crime Talk, then you're gonna come across at least 10 TikToks that are telling you about women that have been abducted or women that were brutally murdered or something. You know what I'm saying? Also like getting updates about what's happening in Gaza and like, bruh, I just feel like I'm getting more of that information than my nervous system can withstand. Like yesterday, I felt peaceful. I felt peaceful. Even outside of like the extreme news, just like consuming content, it like makes my heart beat faster or something. Like so, something about it because for me as a creator myself, I there's a pressure with it of just like me watching other people and then me maybe feeling a bit of guilt because I'm not making, you know, content that I feel like I should be making or whatever. It's just like, I'm not just aimlessly watching it. It, it creates other thoughts and feelings and it just, it like windmills, it's a whole bunch of other shit. And bitch, why the fuck am I doing that to myself? So, you know, on the first I was like, all right, I'm not getting on TikTok. I made a commitment, I mean not TikTok, on Instagram, I made a commitment, I'm not getting on Instagram and I haven't, but I was just making up for what I wasn't doing on Instagram by getting on Twitter and TikTok. And that's why yesterday I was like, let me just not get on nothing. Like, let's see what that's about. And it felt great. So this is day two of me trying and it's not easy, especially in the morning, because that's when, that's a part of my routine. Wake up, flip over, grab my phone, see if I have any texts, then get on social media, get caught up with what all happened, spend the first like hour in the bed scrolling. It's horrible. And by not doing that, it's really like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an adjustment. This is only day two. I'm telling you something like, it's something. And I share it like, not having social media to lean on as a distraction or as something to do, really highlights what I do with my day and what I'm not doing with my day. Like what I'm 
what I haven't been doing. Like there are things that can be done that I haven't been doing because I'm not thinking about it because I'm on my phone. Not being on my phone gives me space to think about the things that I said I wanna do and actually do them. And that is the benefit. So along with the nervous system and that shit, today's plan is to complete organizing my closet. You know, we left off with just the one side and the back side. So I wanna do the other side, which is where all my tops are. I wanna do that, and I also wanna complete laundry. I have a few loads that I can do of laundry. After I do that, yeah, I think today I'm gonna do a later workout, maybe. I just don't feel like going right now, but maybe that's why I should go. I wanna straighten my hair, not today. It feels wasteful since ain't nobody gonna see me. I ain't going out, I ain't gonna be on social media, so it's like, I'ma wait until I'm seen. But yeah, I think I wanna straighten my hair. I might do it not next week, but the week after that. I just feel like my hair needs a break from the wash and goes. And, oh, I bought some new hair product. I wanted to try Taraji's brand. So this is the Make It Rain Clarifying Shampoo with Moisture and the Make It Rain Hydration Rich Conditioner. I didn't smell it. it smell test. Hmm. It reminds me of Man, Men's Cologne which reminds me of Mono's hair hairline from Sally's. Hers also had that smell. These are vegan, cruelty-free. Yeah, so I'm excited. I think the packaging's nice. I like the octagon of it all. I also got the anti-dandruff leave-in. So I bought the pre the pre poo from this Shea Moisture line, the apple cider vinegar line. And um, dandruff is not an issue for me, but dry scalp is like my scalp will just be dry but i don't be having like dandruff i don't know maybe i do whatever i bought it i wanted to try it Oof. <sighs> yeah so i might take a walk it is cold out there but it was nice taking a walk yesterday i realized like i've been going the wrong route i went on a route yesterday and was running into nigga after nigga after nigga so i'm like how long ago you've been going the wrong damn way so that's something to look forward to <laughs> Uh, Cause one thing about it, I like to optimize my time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's kill two birds with one stone. So yeah, we getting some fresh air. We moving the body, and we seeing what's good with these nicks. <laughs> so yesterday, I cooked. I read. I watched some TV. I ordered some brown boots that I've. Uh, been wanting. I actually haven't been wanting these particular boots, but I wanted some brown boots, some chocolate boots. So I got them, hopefully I like them. What else did I do yesterday? I went on a walk. Uh, mm. It was a mental process too. There was a moment where I sat there like, I didn't even have my music playing. I bring my headphones just so then I have an excuse not to like talk to people when they try to talk to me. But also like, I like, it feels like earmuffs. Um, and I cancel out the noise. My headphones have the, noise cancelization thing, cancelization, the noise cancellation thing. And so I'll cancel out the noise so I just hear nothing. And that's nice too, to just like be able to hear my thoughts. But I was asking myself like, oh wow, I see the moon, that's cool. I was asking myself as I was like getting through the not being on social media and shit, I was just like, when's the last time I talked to myself for real, really like checked in? hung out with myself? Am I a good hang? Do I do the things for myself that I try to do for other people in regards to giving myself a good time and a good enjoyable time? You know, offering myself good conversation. Like people giggle and laugh at the idea of talking to themselves, but there's so much benefit to it. But yeah, I was just asking myself questions like, how do you feel? And being completely honest what's making you feel this way and being completely honest like even if i have to say someone is making me feel this way you know like acknowledging who it is and why why do i think they're making me feel this way why do i think it's them that's making me feel this way what do i think i can do to make myself not feel this way like what can solve this thing what do i want the end result to be like what if i could have everything the way i wanted to have it how would it be like talking like that and I have to say, it's so healing for me when I like address my feelings with myself and I'm all the way honest with it, no matter if it's uncomfortable. It's a very, very healing process. 
And I think that's what builds your emotional maturity. Because then when you come into situations with other people, the way that you process your own emotions will come through in the way that you show up for other people, in the way that you communicate. Because you'll be able to take your time and you'll just, I don't know, I feel like I handle situations a lot better because I'm not just quick to respond. I'm really considering how we got there, what my role in this conversation is, what the person needs in this moment, what I think they need versus what they probably actually need and what they are telling me they need. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I kinda wanna wash my hair today. Maybe I'll do a roller set. I said I wanted to do that. That'll definitely take up some time. <laughs> Roller set it takes me forever. Still haven't figured out what rug I want. I'm still leaning towards chocolate for the color, but I haven't found it. I would love a like maybe brown and black rug, like one that has like a black border and then it's brown on the inside. And so when it's laying up under this rug, you just see like a little bit of the brown and a little bit of the black. Yeah, I think I'm gonna look up some rugs while I'm sitting here. Oh, this isn't quite what I'm looking for, but. Huh. I also want a flat rug. Like I don't want it to also have shag to it. Like I want it to be flat. And I also don't like rugs that um, that have those little shingle things on the ends. I don't like that because they just, they collect hair and dust and stuff. It just starts looking raggedy after a while. I hate that look. My lease in office always finds a way to piss me the fuck off. Every fucking time. It never fucking fails. I'm getting so irritated because there was a unit that I wanted to look at to move out of this one. And we go up there, we do the whole rigmarole, we go look at the building and we get in there and he take me to a whole nother apartment. It's like, this is not the apartment I'm talking about. I already knew that that wasn't the apartment I was talking about because of where it lands in the building. I'm, a, I'm just like, I know exactly where the apartment that I wanna see is at. We going in the wrong direction. But I let him take me to the apartment, we get in there and I was like, you know, this isn't the one. He was like, oh, oh, you know what? I know what you're talking about. And so then we walked towards the apartment that I'm talking about. He was like, hold on, let me, let me call down, let me see what they're saying about this unit. And then he was like, oh, so apparently the unit is a dead unit. So, cause there's some foundation issues. So once we get that fixed, then I'll call you back so we can go and look at it. Why am I in my own business and peeped that somebody the motherfucking moved into the motherfucking unit that I was inquiring about that nobody ever called me back about? Like, it'd be shit like that. That's just like, y'all don't want me to like y'all. Y'all don't want me to like y'all. Y'all want me to have an attitude with y'all. That's what y'all want. Cause y'all don't do shit right. I pay too much motherfucking money on time every month for the last two years for y'all to be playing with me like that. Like what? It's a bunch of bitches. And it's not a whole bunch of women either. When I say bunch of bitches, I'm talking about the whole lot of them. Everybody, men and women, a bunch of motherfucking hoes. Yeah, I said it. God damn, hate that silly shit. Really fucking hate that silly shit. And you know what else? For anybody who thinks that somebody is doing something deliberately to annoy them, I'm not one of them people who will give the benefit of the doubt and be like, no, maybe they were just da-da-da. I'm gonna back you up and be like, you know what? Yeah, they probably was. Because guess what? That shit is true. So there are some people, there are some people who literally go out of their way to give you a hard time or to fuck with you because outside of whatever their role is, they'll never be able to have an interaction with you. This is their only shot to have some kind of interaction with you. And they get to decide right then and there how they wanna do it, whether or not they are gonna help you out or if they are gonna give you a hard time. And most times I get helped out, but sometimes I get a motherfucker that just simply don't want to help me out. They just wanna be a dickhead, just to prove a point. You know what I'm saying? Of just because they can. This shit is wild though. No, we go. I have to send a fucking voice note because it's too much to text. But this is last week. We walk over to the- I keep going back and forth about whether or not I should detangle my hair tonight. Like detangle it tonight, prep it tonight to wash it tomorrow. Cause I feel like this is the last day my hair is gonna be semi-moisturized, which is great. Like I washed my hair, when was that? Shit, yeah, I washed my hair Saturday. Either Saturday or Sunday, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure though it was Saturday. Let me see when I was. Well, maybe it was Sunday. Okay, yeah, it was Sunday. Um, Yeah, I washed my hair Sunday and it's Friday and I've not added any additional product. And my hair looks great. I use that Curl Dynasty. I realized the reason why my hair lasts so long in a wash and go is because that Curl's Dynasty product that I'm using, it 
is a cream gel. I didn't realize it had gel shit in it, but apparently it's like half gel. So my hair um, stays defined for a pretty long time. But the issue is, is that my scalp gets dirty and my scalp is what needs cleansing. So yeah, I need to wash my hair tomorrow. I'm thinking about going to Sephora. Wanna get some stuff from Sephora. I wonder if they have any sales coming up. And if I should wait. I'm so irritated by my apartment building. Stupid fools, a bunch of fools for real. Well, today was another successful day of no social media. It really does feel good. I feel like the other side of this is just like me thinking about how it'll affect my social media platforms. Like I don't wanna lose anything, lose opportunities because I'm not active on there. And I don't plan on making this a permanent thing. I just, I wanted to start the week off like this. And I didn't even start the week off like this. This is some shit I started Thursday. So I just wanna have a better relationship with social media in general. Like I still wanna use social media for work. I think that's smart, but I don't want it to have such a motherfucking hold on my time and my fucking state of mind. So yeah, just creating some balance. I'm gonna do my closet. I wanted to do my closet tonight. So that's a tonight thing. Pop on a podcast or something while I do that. And then that's it. I didn't go to the gym. I just did a really long walk. So I'm definitely gonna go to the gym tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I'll go to the gym and then I'll come back and wash my hair. And I think I'm gonna do a roller set. Yeah, just cause, just for fun. Like I have the stuff. I have the Nairobi. That's what I used last time. And my roller set didn't turn out good last time because I didn't stay under the dryer long enough. But it's like, the, the dryer situation, it's like a two and a half hour ordeal. So like I need to find a movie and I gotta set it up out here and do it that way. Cause that's the only way I'll actually sit under that motherfucker and like sit. But I do have a movie that I wanna see. So yeah, I think that'll be a nice Saturday situation. I colored. Eight. Um, I didn't do any reading today. I really, oh, I was searching for the damn rug. That's what I was doing. Really looking for the rug. Cause I want to get that asexual. <sighs> I'm feeling blah. I wonder if it's because I didn't go to the gym. Maybe I need to go to the gym. I just don't like going to the gym late. I don't know why, but the gym is scary to me at night. Like I don't feel like, it feels weird to me at night. I like the gym during the day. My gym don't even have no windows in it, but I still don't want to be in there at night. Something about that is scary to me. I like a little daytime situation. I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye. Girl. put on a little bit of concealer today. So we need to remove that makeup. I'm using this cleansing balm from Skin Glass. Y'all are familiar with this. Y'all have seen this using this. I also have another, I have a cleansing oil that one of my holistic esthetician friends, Shawnee, sent me. And I'll show you guys that, hold on. I really love this step of getting my face clean because it's a step that I only picked up as an adult. Like I never used to do this back in the day. And I feel like if I did this back in the day, I would have avoided a lot of the damage I did to my skin. Damage and just like a lot of breakouts that left damage on my skin. I'm actually washing my face now after my shower, um, which I always wash my face after my shower, but normally I'll wash my face like right out the shower. Like I still have my towel on, I haven't moisturized or anything, but tonight I moisturized and did my whole body routine. And it feels good to already be like ready for bed, teeth brushed, retainers in, and now all I have to do is wash my face. I don't know. Feels good. But yeah, this is such a nice step because I get a chance to just massage my face and like get the blood moving and just let my face know we're alive. It feels so good to do it right here. I know this like opens up your sinuses or something. I, I saw Shawnee actually posted something and she was using a tool to do it. But I wanna get all into that, like reflexology and 
learning about the blood flow in the body and all of that. Like, I want to learn about that shit. Okay, hold on. Step two, the cleanser. One thing that I have to remind myself is to not apply a lot of pressure when I'm cleansing my skin. And I remind myself by like saying my skin shouldn't be getting tugged. Like I shouldn't see my skin moving. My hand should be doing all the work. So really I cleanse three times because I'm gonna cleanse my face again after this. And only because I had concealer like in random areas on my skin just to cover up some blemishes. So that's only when I have makeup on will I do like a three cleanse situation or if I just feel like I need it. But mostly I'll just do two cleanses. Okay, face clean. Let me go and get a towel. Please hold. Okay. This is also a very important step for me. Drying off my skin. I was a proud air dry girl and then I would put aloe vera directly on my skin. I don't think that was horrible, but I don't think that's what my skin needed. You know what I'm saying? I think my skin, a lot of my acne is like a bacteria thing or just a straight up dirt thing. So cleansing my skin is very important. I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a minute. And my skin is doing well right now, so if my skin starts acting a fool, I'll know it's because I'm trying something different right now. Or throwing something new in the routine. But I just repurchased the Polish Choice AHA BHA liquid. Oh, actually, it's not, I don't know why I always say AHA. It's a BHA liquid. But uh, I just repurchased it. Because I haven't done an exfoliating type situation, I feel like I noticed some little small bumps right here just little small little bumps and i just want to get to them before they get to me you hear me i'm just putting that all over Pop. also another thing i repurchased skin wise is the biosance squalane and vitamin c dark spot serum i won't be using this tonight because you're not supposed to mix vitamin c with salicylic acid i don't think i don't think these are supposed to mix or is it you can't mix vitamin c with a retinol it's something but like i'm not mixing shit this will be used another night but i do really like that i also really like these micro point blemishes these blemish uh why can't i talk these micro point blemish what yeah love these micro point blemish patches I normally use the purple one, like it was in a purple box. And I think it's because the purple box also had some acne shit in it, I think. Unless they changed the color. But I'm gonna put this, cause I have a few dark spots from some acne I was dealing with. I kinda low key wanna cut this hole in half. This is big as shit. It's a big, uh, that's a pretty big. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what's really going on. Yeah, like I got a dark spot right there. and if dark right there and I think I'm gonna cut these in half that's what I think I'm gonna do yeah oh don't I need to get some fresh scissors that's what I will say all my scissors I use for my hair and shit I definitely should not be using them to cut shit that's going on my skin all right so I'm taking this off I'm gonna put this exactly where I need to be all right hey right here and then you press it and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds I'm starting to think this ain't for dark spots. It says blemish, but it ain't talking about, this look like it's for a bump. I'm about to get pissed off, cause I bought two of these. Cause I was like, yeah, cause I got two dark spots I wanna get rid of. But this is not giving, I don't think this is the right one. I think the one I was looking for was the purple one. And the purple one is specifically for dark spots. And this is giving, not for dark spots. This is giving just straight up blemish breakouts. But you know what, we gonna see. That's my stomach making all the noise. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's supposed to hold it for 20 seconds. So I'm holding it. Okay, another thing I purchased because my lips have just been looking ashy to me. Like right now, it looks so ashy. And low key is like OD ash because, oh, I haven't even put on any um, moisturizer. I'll do that in a second. Um, but my lips look OD ashy right now because, what's my excuse? They look OD ashy because, what now? Oh, I think there's a little bit of toothpaste on them, but also a little cute. I don't think there's toothpaste on them. So I bought this 
sleep mask from Sephora. Yeah, so this is what I have right here. And yeah, because it's giving, bitch, you need it. I just feel like lately my lips have not been looking um, juicy and moisturized. And I was putting Aquaphor, like the Aquaphor that I use for my feet. I was using Aquaphor on my lips, but I actually don't like Aquaphor on my lips. We're gonna see what this do. I'm putting a hefty amount on my lips. Also in the winter, my lips are just drier as is everybody's. But I don't like that my shit be looking like, I feel like my lips be looking ashy. Like it's not just that they dry. They literally look a different shade. That's not gonna work for me. They, like that might work for you, but it ain't gonna work for me. <laughs> Yeah, girl, I'm bringing you in it. I'm returning this oil. I bought some little oil for me to go to sleep with because I like to smell good before I go to sleep. But this motherfucker is not rolling on good. Oh yeah, you 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 get returned. I'm just going to exchange you for a different one because shouldn't be no reason. Oh, there you go. But still, there you go. Yeah, it was acting stupid. Do not play with me. I always spend my little money I support, but you know what? Everything that I get, I use. Now, for my moisturizer, I'm using the Skin Glass Moisturizer, and I'm running low, like I'm, I'm scraping it. I actually have to just use it sparingly because I need a re-up, and I don't know what I'm gonna get that re-up, so. Was this the finger I was just using for my lips? Oh, I hope not. Just use this hand lightly. That's the biggest tip, is to like lightly do your face shit. Don't do a lot of tugging. Treat your face like a delicate little baby. Cause guess what? Yeah. I'm really into skincare because I have watched my skin go from one thing to the other. You feel me? Like, I'm not talking from a place of like, oh, my skin always been clear. Or I ain't never dealt with nothing. No, no. I'm speaking from a place of, bitch, I dealt with acne that kept me in the house. You understand know what I'm saying? Like, debilitating acne. You know, we could always play the game of like, no, my acne's worse than yours. Sorry, hold on. I'm pressing on my, my little things because they're coming up. Oh, hell no. Nah. no. Nah, I'm gonna have to return this. This not even staying down on my skin. It's peeling up. I wonder if they will let me return this to Kroger. It's giving, no. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna just leave it alone. Um, but yeah, I'm coming from a place of like, I've dealt with acne and like serious acne all over my skin. And when it was its worst, I was not showing it. I wasn't sharing it. I wasn't even on YouTube yet when my acne was at its worst. My acne was at its worst like 2012, 2013. No, it was at its worst 2013, 2014. At its worst. Whew. Those are bad times for my skin. Oh, this is the cleansing oil. So, In Groove is the brand. I'm looking crazy, but yeah. In Groove is the brand. She has this cool thing where you can scan and she's made a playlist for you to do your skincare to. Very cute. The oil. And I've used it once, if I'm being honest, only because I had a breakout. And when I'm trying a new product, I really want to use it once my skin is under control so that I can see how my skin really responds to it. If I'm going through a breakout, I don't want to use a new product and let's say my skin is continuing to break out and I don't know if the new product I'm using is affecting my skin or if my skin's still going through something. It's just like, let me just use it once I get my shit together. Ooh. So since my shit wasn't together, I didn't use it. But I did use it, I think it was like last week I used it. I'm also just learning how to use it for real because it's not a makeup remover. It's literally a cleansing oil. So yeah, I'm gonna start. You can also use it as a moisturizer apparently. I like how this feels on my lip. I like that feeling. It just feels like a thick balm, but it's not sticky like a lip gloss. Like it's glowing like a lip gloss, but it's not sticky like a lip gloss. I like that. I hate that this is coming up like this, but I wonder if it's because I cut it. It's starting to give you to this yourself. Well, okay girls, that is my nighttime routine. I'll see y'all in the morning. Here. Okay, I just woke up, and I'm talking about just woke up, but I just wanted to show you my lip. Um, feel juicy from the lip mask. Yeah. 
Another thing I want to say, now that my teeth are brushed and I'm feeling less crusty and dusty, because the teeth brushing will make me feel uncrusty and dusty immediately. That's, that's what a bitch needs. It's a good <laughs> brushing of the teeth. The Dawn dish soap. I always say dish soap. The Dawn dish soap to clean the retainers. I'm going to be doing that from here on out. I love that because my, my retainers literally feel fresh again. They still are a little stained, but I don't mind. Like, you know, I ain't about to be in no commercial with them on. I'm about to go to the gym and my skin feels a little dry because I used that Polish Choice last night. I don't know about y'all, like for anybody else that uses that, but when I wake up in the morning after using that, my skin feels tight, which is why I don't do that often. I don't use that stuff often. So I'm putting on the skin food from Relata. Also, before I go to the gym, I do not wash my face. I go to the gym right when I wake up and um, I normally don't put anything on my face, but because my skin feels dry, I'm just putting a little bit of moisturizer on. Okay, put on my workout gear. So, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all the type of shit that make me proud of myself, okay? I just got back from the gym, clearly. Yeah! And it was two guys in there, two white guys. Immediately when I walked in, one of them just scoffed. Like, just scoffed. Straight up, like, like did that. You know? And I'm like, that couldn't have been towards me. There's no way that could have been towards me. Because what the fuck did I do but walk in this motherfucker? So, I play that no mind. I pay that no mind. I, when I start my workout, I do a nice, um, treadmill walk. Um, highest incline. I start at 1.8 and I work it up to like 2.5. It's not supposed to be like a super like, oh, you know, situation. It's just supposed to get my blood pumping and uh, get my heart beating. You feel me? To start off my workout. I do that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Today I did it for 10 because I couldn't stand looking at that white man no more. We was over in the same area and he was just getting on my nerves. And so, boom. I do the same set. I just added something new to my set, which is I pull out this big block that they have and I use Use it to step on and I hold this eight pound ball and I step up on it with both legs like I do um, 12 on one leg and then I do 12 on the other leg and so boom I got my whole setup I got my little leg workout machine I got my arm stuff I brought my weights over and I brought that box over and they're all in the same little area cleaned everything off and now I'm getting started I'm doing my routine the one machine that's not where everything else is is the pull down arm thing right but I put the weights that I'm using over there also there's only three of us in the gym so it's like you see what I'm doing there's no way that you don't see that I'm using this machine also I saw him look at me a few times so it's like I know you see that I'm using this machine now i had already finished my set i was on my last thing which is going up on the box that's the thing that i close out with in my set and why does the man that scoffed go and sit at the machine the pull down thing he's not using it he's just sitting there on his phone he wanted me so bad to get into it with him. He wanted me to say something to him so bad. And the, the pleasure that I got out of not having to even acknowledge him, oh man, it felt so good. Immediately when he sat down, I started smiling. He wanted me to get mad. Like I know his whole, his whole thing was to agitate me. He wanted me to get mad that he was sitting down there. He wanted me to say something to him immediately so he can say, you're not using this machine though. You know, he wanted us to get into it. He wanted us to have that moment. I don't care what nobody says. He was looking for us to have an issue and I literally smile because I'm like little do you know bitch I'm done with that machine so you can sit on it and text on your blackberry all you want because yes bitch He had a fucking blackberry text on your blackberry all you want. I I don't give a fuck or I don't know what he was doing with that blackberry But it was it was blackberry. Yes, maybe it wasn't a blackberry, but it was damn near wasn't no I damn sure wasn't no iPhone So you mad at the wrong thing you mad at your your piece of machinery, okay get mad at that not me, girl. Call Cricket and try and get you something new. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Be you. See ya. Yuck, you stink. So, yeah, girl, I walked out of there. I, I hightailed it out of there after I cleaned off my side. Switching left and right. And uh, came up here to tell you all about it. 
I'm just a happy girl. I'm just happy to like not have to check a nigga, you know? Cause some of these niggas wanna be checked and I ain't gonna do it. That was a great workout though. I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna see y'all in a few after I get myself together. The plan today, this is a light plan, but the light plan today is to organize my closet and do a roller set on my hair. I think I wanna wash my hair. And I'll do the roller set first before I do anything else, so yeah. We'll see. That's a big task, but I kind of sort of want to do it. This weather doesn't make me want to do it because this weather is gross. Let's see how long it's supposed to rain. See, it's gonna rain. Another day, no social media. Yesterday, I got on TikTok to go live, but I wasn't scrolling. I just got on there to go live. I went live, had a great live, and I think I'm going to start doing live with Kennedy on TikTok. We're gonna see. I'm like soft launching it type shit. Like just going on there, talking to people, getting in my bag. You you know what I mean? Getting comfortable doing the thing that I've been doing for years. I'm gonna just see how I feel on there, you know, on a new platform. But it was a good turnout, good show. What else? Also, it's easier to get new viewers on TikTok Live as opposed to Instagram Live because on Instagram Live, people don't utilize that live explore page on TikTok because there is, I mean, on Instagram, because there is an explore page for lives, but it only pops up if you are currently on a live. like. If you exit out of that live, it'll tell you, and that's only sometimes, like Instagram setup, it doesn't tell you who all's live if I'm mistaken. Maybe it does. Girl, I haven't been on there in a week. What do I know? I don't know how it works anymore. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't. But yeah, it's just, it's not as easy as TikTok. Whereas TikTok, you're, you're gonna be on the For You page, especially if people are liking the live. Apparently when you like the live, the more likes that you get in the live, the more um, eyes, the, the higher it'll show up on the For You page. So I had a like 50,000 likes, or maybe I'm making that up, but I had a lot of likes on my, on my thing. But, uh, oh yeah, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Okay, that's it, I'll see y'all later, bye. bought some new deep conditioner. I got the Mayo Organics deep conditioner, the Babuso, Babu, whatever the hell. It has protein in it, and I feel like my hair needs some protein. I'm gonna do that, take a nice long shower, and um, yeah, I'll see you when I come out. Okay, welcome to Kennedy's Beauty Shop. The beautician who knows nothing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but we're gonna have some fun. Hello? Okay, so I just rinsed out the Babasu treatment. And now I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this leave-in from Aveda, which is kind of old. Like, this is maybe a mistake, but I just feel like my hair needs something. Like, I can't just go straight into the foam, can I? Like my hair, ah, I got my eye. I just feel like my hair needs something. A little something just to let my hair know. I actually hate bottles that spray like this. Like, we need to all get on the same page and get the like Windex bottle because this is so tiring. So, I'm not going to be using these Velcro ones. Every time I see somebody use these Velcro rollers, it looks horrible. Like, not their turnout there, but them like pulling the roller out. I'm like, ooh, I know hair was getting pulled out. So, I won't be using these. Also, I don't know if these are safe to use under the dryer. So, not using these. If I would use these, like I would have a nice big roller. Instead, I'll be using the classic rollers. I guess this is a little bit bigger. Okay, so these are the same size. So I just, these are my bigger rollers. So I'll use these for the middle part. Okay, that's, that's good. I didn't realize it's bigger. Cool. Um, I do have some, a few metal clips. So I have some of these and then I have these, which is really, I got these for my pin curls, but I will be using these. Hopefully, these have to be okay in the heat. Like, we don't think these would melt, do we? I hope not. All right, let's get the fuck started because we're working with wet hair. I got the Nairobi, which has heat protectant in it. So, but I, I did still bring out my silk element stuff because I may or may not want to apply some of this on there as well. We'll see. Um, and I also, after I do everything, I'm going to, um, or maybe I should do this now. Okay. Shoot, I was supposed to shake that up. It literally says to shake before you use Girl, 
let's just, we just gonna hope that I got what I needed to get, okay? One thing about it, I like to shake the products up. Especially if it's a shake, I don't play. All right, where should we start first? I guess the center, I don't know. All right, I got my detangling brush. I also have like a brush brush so I can actually smooth the hair on the roller because girl, my hair, she is unruly, okay? Let's get started though. <laughs> on the last sections. I'm so proud of myself, actually, because I'm doing a pretty good job. It's taking me a long fucking time, but it's fine. Does that make that a new goal? I'm on the last one. <laughs> Me being done right now, I I never saw the finish line, but I'm officially done. What this is gonna turn out like, I don't know. I'm just happy I did this. Like, who knows what it's gonna end up looking like, but I did it. Let me see what the back looks like while I'm turning around looking crazy. Okay, the grand reveal from the back. Hey, nah, you kinda did it. Hell yeah, nah, you kinda did it. Nah, not I'm a beautician for real. How it lit. Hold on, let me not even mess nothing up because I'm not redoing nothing. I'm done. That's it. That's my last head. I'm done. I'm gonna clean up my little station so I can be under this dryer comfortably. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit under the dryer and just edit. At this point, I have been under the dryer on and off for like four hours, maybe longer. So I feel like we're good. Yeah, that's dry. Basically testing to make sure before I start taking these rollers out. I'm gonna still sit here for a couple minutes before I start taking them out because I don't know. My hair smells so good. Like, I kid you not, that silk element, I love, oops. I love the smell of it. Yeah, so like, when I used to get my hair done in high school and I would get a roller set, she'd do this and then brush it out and then just wrap my hair. Also rollers, dang, I should've like took a picture or something. Uh, why wouldn't I take a picture of something with the rollers in, like looking cute. Anyway, yeah, rollers in my hair makes me feel so girly and womanly and just like, <laughs> our last one. Ow. <laughs> okay, I'm looking crazy. Let me clone this out. It's giving Shirley Chisholm. Hold on. Let me get my um. Let me get my stuff now. Hold on. Excuse me. Oh look. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Oh look. <laughs> My camera's about to die, but we're done. And I'll show y'all what it's looking like. Let's see if my hair falls the bone when I take it down. Let's just see. It was just a roller set, but let's just see. So right now we have no fall off the bone done. I can really see the color of my hair when it's straight. Like my hair is actually brown. <laughs> Ooh, I can already see an issue. An area that was not wrapped. Okay, let's start unraveling. I gotta tuck my lips because they're sticky right now. I want my hair sticking.
Ooh, bouncy, pretty. It looks like a wig. Okay, let's get everything centered. Let me tell you something. Def not mad at it. Like, it's giving wig. It's def giving wig. Twist or something at night. Because even though this is pretty, like, this is gonna fall and it's just gonna be like big hair, which is what it's giving now. Not what I was expecting. It's very 70s. Like, let me let you get in the light properly. Yeah, it's like very shag it's very like i'm loving it i def am this would be so cute like if i actually get cute and stuff but i got stuff to do like i got errands to run so i can't even get cute but like a cute little tuckage behind the ear like what are we talking about we're not talking about much we're not talking about much the hair is looking full but i will say it's looking a little dry to me just to me but i'm gonna i'm gonna perfect this look i am gonna perfect this look because i do like it um, I just gotta figure out how to actually get it to be what it's supposed to be. I'm slightly starving. The only thing about doing my hair like this is I will not be in the gym for the next few days. Instead, I'll just be doing a brisk walk, pop, and uh, go out and see what these niggas talking about. I'll see you in a few girls. Hey. Think they're in the front. But yeah, this is my. It's cold outside, but I'm still cute. It's cold outside, but I'm still cute. I am back from the grocery store. Back from the grocery store. Yeah. Today is death giving stay in the house type vibes because the weather is too, like when I was out there, I kept thinking that I felt like a raindrop. It'd just be like a little random raindrop and I ain't got time for that. Like it doesn't say it's supposed to rain, but it's just like, what are you doing in? I'm hungry. But not hungry enough to cook. <sighs> if I didn't cook, I like I'm really trying to figure out what do I want to. Let me figure out what I want before I get this off. Hold on. It's yuck outside in the sense of like it's cold. And I know people are sick. Like, I just know they sick. And the yuck part about that is that people know they're sick and they're still canoodling outside. That shit pisses me off. I just feel like after we all experienced COVID and we, we witnessed the devastation that it brought amongst people's families, like the loss that people dealt with from that fucking virus, why? the fuck would you three years later be going outside when you know you're sick? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I'm witnessing too much selfish shit going on. It's one thing to be for self. It's another thing to be selfish. And people conflate the two. I, it's happened to me so many times. Like, I've heard someone be like, I gotta think about myself. And it's like, yes, you do have to think about yourself. But if thinking about yourself means somebody else is gonna be harmed, you know what I'm saying? Then like, I don't know, what does that say about you? What does that say about how you think about yourself? It's just very ugly. So in lieu of all the yuck, I'm making myself a tea and I'm gonna drink myself a nice juice. So this is now, let's see, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is day four of no social media during the day. I wanna keep this up because honestly guys, like I really do feel great. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. What's that? Rise and shine. Apples, pineapples, grapes, mangoes, and ginger. 25% vitamin C and I checked all of the juices. This had the most vitamin C out of all of them. So I grabbed that one quick. I think tonight I'm gonna make myself a little pasta. I had mentioned this before, like, I don't know if I've said it on here, or if I've just said it to friends, but it feels so heavy. Like the world feels so fucking heavy until you turn that phone off. And then you turn that phone off and all of a sudden you're in your world and none of that stuff exists. I think there needs to be a balance. Like I do think that it's important to be informed and aware about what's going on. But I also think that if you are constantly, you know, 
reading into that and consuming it, it can have a negative impact on you. And it was having a negative impact on me and affecting my my mood, affecting my productivity during the day, affecting my nervous system, my stress levels. And I just, I needed to do something about that. This juice is delicious. Cheers. <laughs> In this first week, I've had one man from 2023 contact me and it's because we ran into each other and he thought it meant some it didn't mean nothing sorry as soon as i left you i forgot about you so you know but to him girl time stopped the room got quiet he trying to figure out how he can no no <laughs> you ain't got to okay thank you no 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 thank you i'm a-okay that's one thing about me. Don't get me to start liking you. Cause once I stop liking you, ooh, I'm gonna talk about you like a dog. And ain't no going back from that. It's just like, you gonna always be the nigga that, <laughs> whatever it is that I talk about you about, you always gonna be that. Like, ooh, that, that be pumpkin. Yeah, I think for dinner, I'm gonna do the Lando scene, Tails, and the Cacciata Pepe. I think I'm gonna do that for dinner. It was so good. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hop back into this editing bag. Also, while I'm editing, I'm watching um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because I never watched it. And so I started from the beginning. I'm on season two. So far, who I like the most is Lisa Vanderpump and Adrian Maluth. Oh, also, um, she's new. She just showed up on there. What's her name? So I sort of B. Her husband left her for Leanne Rhymes, whatever her name is. I like her cause, and I bet watching this back, like if the if the women were on this show watch this back, I know they're like, dang, like we was being bitches to her. Like they was just straight being mean to her. And she really just a good time so far. Kim Richards is too, I, I can't, I'm too nervous. Like all that, I, I can't with that, I'm sorry. But like, I don't do well with that type of personality. I just, I, I, I just don't do well with it. I, I don't like that jittery, nervousy <laughs> type shit. Please, relax. And her sister, Kyle, so at first I was like, oh my God, Kyle's pretty cool. But then I'm like, one, I don't like how you do your sister because you be treating your sister like she needs to be mothered. Meanwhile, you act just like her on the lowest of keys. Like you're also very jumpy and, 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 and anxious and you know, mumbly jumbly and like you're, you're the same way. You're the same way. So I don't know why you be treating, like Kim's, Kim's worse, but you are very much like her. So please stop, roll it back. I think Kyle be feeling herself a little bit when she looks around the room and be like, my hair is, you know, 34 inches and my man is fine and I got these beautiful kids and like, I love my life. But it's like, what's going on up in here though, girl? I feel like Kyle, I don't know, something's going on up in here. She's cool to me and this, she's not cool to me. I like seeing her with her family though. Lisa Vanderpump, I just think Lisa Vanderpump is super witty. I love a witty woman. She's very witty, very quick. This season, she's in a little bit of drama. And I feel like the women are misreading her a little bit. Like, you know, apparently, like, before the season started, they had all been chatting about her and talking about how they feel like she got a big ego. And in reality, I'm just, I feel like this has always been Lisa's ego. And I think they just feel the way because she was a fan favorite from the first season. And I think the ladies are just feeling some type of way. Camille, the first season, now that was big ego. Camille girl second season you can really see the humility in camille because of what happened in her marriage kelsey grammar her ex-husband left her for a flight attendant a 29 year old flight attendant at that who i said oh wow so camille walked in with a brand new attitude as she should adrian while i do like her because i feel like she has the most sense and i like her temperament she's just like she's always she's never this side that side she's just like a listener I don't like how she be doing her husband. I think Paul is funny. Um, I think he compliments her well. Uh, and I think that she's very dismissive and she's not very warm to him. And it's tough to watch because it's just like, dang, Adrian. And I looked it up and I saw that they got divorced eventually. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not surprised because you're not nice to him. You're not nice to him. Who else is on here? Taylor. So Taylor, 
I gotta look her up. Like, did she ever get into acting? Cause that girl is dramatic. Like, she's going through some real shit clearly and I looked up her story and I see what happens eventually. So it's like, it's all there, it's all real. But she's, she is intense. That's an intense woman. And like, she has a very immature way of handling her emotions in the sense of like when she's around the girls that's when she lets it all out she drinks and then she like purges all these emotions and she's screaming and she's crying and you don't know what she's done to me and it's just like taylor you need to be letting this out on yo man on russell but knowing what ends up happening to him and you know what happens with their marriage and everything it's just like man you know i guess it all makes sense. It all lines up, right? But those are the girls. Why last night I'm going through a whole thing of me being on Real Housewives and I'm like getting into it with somebody. I literally had to snap out of it like, Kennedy, you're not on Real Housewives. Knock it off. Like, I need a break because I've been watching this show too much. But um, yeah, I feel like my tagline would be, not only are my pockets fat, so is this ass. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyway, girl, um, I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye. Wait, every time I try to leave, it's something new. Yeah, yeah, I bought it, I bought it. A special people edition that is nothing but Beyonce shit, okay? And I bought it. You know why? Because I don't give a damn. Yeah, I'm one of the ones. And it's not so much about just the doll. It's very much so about a moment in time. Like, this was a moment, the Renaissance tour. And really just, to me, exemplifies like a woman transitioning into her freest, fullest self. And it's a reminder to myself that there will be changes in my life and that nothing is the same and that I should, you know, be excited to age and grow and transition. And so, yeah, I bought it. I bought it because that's what it means to me. Periante, that's her. It needed to be bought. And then I was like, let me see if I'm in here. No, because let me see if I'm in here. Because in the movie, I did see myself. Was I blurred? Yes. Was it only for 0.2 seconds? Yes. But I saw myself. So I knew where to look. I knew exactly where to look. I saw myself. And um, it just, it is what it is. If you're interested in seeing me or if we ever get to see the movie like on streaming, it's the scene where there's a 360 happening around her and she's wearing the dress with the circle in the back, the black dress with the circle in the back during her Dangerously in Love performance. And she's at the center of the stage and um, it's daytime and they're doing a 360 around her. And when they pan around to where you can see the pure honey seats on the side, you'll see me there. I'm standing next to somebody with a cowboy hat. Pop. Look for me. Look for me. Cause I found me. I saw me in the movie. I had to literally contain myself. Like <laughs> I looked around like oh. <laughs> like they would know. Like they don't know, girl. Nobody knows. Cause you can't even see me. But still, you understand know what I'm saying? It still felt like something. I still feel like you know what I'm saying? Like, let's make sure she get in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, bye. Nah, it's getting ridiculous now. I keep turning my camera on and off, on and off. I swear to goodness, this is the last time I'm getting on here. These are the Maddie patches that I was looking for that I didn't get. So I returned the blemish ones that I got. Well, I returned one of them because the other one I opened. But this is what I was looking for. I did buy two of them. I do think that this works to lighten up your dark spots. I've used it before. And I, I think it works in conjunction with other products that are meant to help to um, get your skin uh, even. So I'll be working on that because that's my goal for this year. I just want an even complexion. And I might need to go to a dermatologist to get, not a dermatologist, an esthetician, to get a peel of some sort or something. I just feel like I need a little extra something. Maybe, we'll see. But yeah, that's my personal goal. I wanna get my skin even. So yeah, join me on that journey, 2024. Um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.
happy 2024. See ya.